Hello, I'm Stuart Law. Maybe I should add to that. Hello, I'm a very wet Stuart Law. Perch fishing, I'm on the reservoir that I was on recently that I wrote about in my angling journal. Maybe you saw the video. An horrendous day. It's a big reservoir, huge in fact. And it's windy generally, but of course on places like this, that's when the term windswept reservoir, windswept gravel pit comes into its own on these huge venues. And it's been like fishing the sea. There, there have been waves with white tops on them, white tips on them. And uh, I've really been up for the challenge today, but I've had a few casts and about fourth or fifth one in, rod tip went round, fishing a quiver tip for perch, rod tip went round and I've uh, landed me a nice fish. I'm not sure whether I'll get too many action shots on this particular session, depends what happens to the weather afterwards. Very windy, very wet, but you never know because I'm here for uh, the afternoon and the evening right up to dark, so might get some, uh, some shots. Let's see, but at least I'll get some fish anyway. I've had one, that's a good start. It's not time. Still a little bit windy. Into evening now. I was doubting that. Yes, been quiet today. Had a few perch and uh, a bream. Just a small one, the bream. But at least I haven't blanked. Second session, still on the reservoir. I've moved to a new spot though, I want to try somewhere different. I'm about to cast out for the first time. There's my cage feeder, my, uh, my worm there. Still have to perch, of course. Don't know if you can hear the church bells in the, in the distance. Uh, not very often heard these days for various reasons, but they've been going strong since I've uh, been here. And it reminded me of Dad's Army, the film. If you've ever seen that, you'll know what I'm talking about, when the bells are a warning that the Germans have invaded. And to highlight that memory, um, also as I arrived, there was a, an old plane, like a World War II plane, something like that, that was in the area uh, flying around. So that's, uh, that's a good start to the session. But of course, I'm here after, uh, after, after Perch. So hopefully, I'll get amongst these fish. I'm gonna put a few casts out to start with. It's a, it's a big place, there's a few fish in here, but of course, unless you drop on fish in your swim um, with your first cast, then you need to draw them in a little bit. They won't be too far away. So after a few casts, I'm confident that I'll start to get uh, a few takes. So there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Bait it up, cage feeder ready, worm on the hook, let's go. First fish, it took me a while actually, I've had to put a few casts out, I've got one on now. It's coming in. It's a perch. about to net it. Yes. Next to where I'm fishing there's some broad-leaved willow herb. It's growing there along the water's edge. Let's take a closer look. And another fish on. It's been a bit slow today. It's a perch and it's decent enough to net. In the net. I'll say that a few times as well. I am aware when I repeat myself. Not the biggest perch I've caught, but not the smallest either. 
my favourite species. I love them all, regardless of the size. This is a plant called the marsh woundwort. I've just found a little clump growing by the side of the lake. As you can see, it's a beautiful little flower. I often say there's no such thing as a nuisance fish. And I'll add to that, there's no such thing as a weed either. It's now late afternoon and I'm fishing away and I hear a noise behind me. In fact, a voice behind me. And the voice says, hello Mr. Bloor, are you stalking me? And I looked around and it's Steve Collett. So Steve's on the venue that I'm on at the moment. It's the second time we've bumped into each other in uh, recent weeks on the lower seven was the uh, previous one and if you do watch my videos and read the articles then you'll know that but I decided to take advantage of Steve being here and I asked him a question being as this is a, a perch video can you remember your first big perch and this is what Steve had to say the thing that got me into specimen fishing really uh, Stuart was I was fishing a match of all things on the canal and it was by the uh, lock at Wolverley and I drew a peg on the middle of the bend and uh, was fishing squat for gudgeon and uh, I'm shipping a gudgeon back as you do with light elastic looking for bikers and everything and every other peril that goes with fishing the canal and as I'm shipping it back my elastic's gone off and first thoughts instantly is I've got a pike, I've got a pike but then I saw this massive perch it was up, well it was massive to me being a matchman because all the fish are massive when you're a matchman after catching them things and this fish, we weighed it individually, it was £1.13 ounce, I think it was, yeah, it was £1.13, but it was absolutely beautiful. I thought, you know what, I've got to come back and do this again and just target the perch this time. And that's what really got me into uh, specimen fishing, that, that thing that day. There's nothing bigger than a big perch. And even though one thirteen is a massive perch, to a matchman, when he used to catch his squat fish like that, it was a huge perch. And uh, I haven't looked back since, still do a bit of both. Thanks, Steve, for that brilliant. I fish that canal on a regular basis and to catch a perch £1.13 that is a good perch from that particular venue and as I so often say it's not the actual weight of the fish that's important but rather the weight of the fish for the venue that we catch it from and a fish of that weight from the Staffs Worcestershire Canal is a, is a specimen fish. the perch. In the net. It's certainly been a slow day. I've had a, a few fish, a trickle of fish. Let's see how Steve's doing in the next peg, shall we? It's a bit slow, I think, mate, and um, I, instead of opting for like a specimen approach, I've had two rods out, I've come down pretty close to the water side, and I've gone for more of a, a matchman approach now, casting regular, trying a long tail, short tail with a worm, and it's very, very slow. I think traditionally this water always used to need a really good chop on it, mate, and uh, I think you've done well to catch the fish that you have. But uh, the night is young, as they say, pal. Session three, as you can see, got my shades on, beautiful day, very sunny. I'm still on the same reservoir, but I've moved to a different place, quite a hike around to what is in effect a much shallower part of the venue. But I want to really try as many different parts of this place as, as I can and get a good feel for it because I will be fishing here quite a bit I suspect into the uh, future. I've had a few casts out just to determine the bottom and, and find out where the drop-offs are and ledges or any features like that and it is quite weedy but with a decent cast I can get over the shallow water 
that is in effect the margins, although it does extend out quite some uh, way. I can get over that into the deeper water and that's where the perch will be. Well, that's the plan. Let's find out. Had a fish. It's a perch as well. Nice little pull round. And it's now in the net. There it is. Nice little fish. Let's hope it's all onwards and upwards from here. And as my wife would say, at least you haven't blanked. been catching a few reasonable perch and bream and this one feels a little bit better well it is but I think it's a bream yeah it's come to the surface as they do rolled over submitted just waiting for the net the video comes to an end now but of course the article continues as I often say it's still early afternoon and I've got a few hours fishing left so if I catch that big perch it won't be on video but it will be in the article. My Angling Journal is published every Saturday. It consists of two parts. Firstly there's the written article that you can find on my website and then there's the video that accompanies it that of course you're watching right now on YouTube. So check out my Angling Journal. Also if you're on Facebook as well, along with the other hundreds of millions of people in the world today, then join my uh, Facebook page, connect with me on Facebook. It's one of those pages that you like as opposed to ask for a, a friend request. And I don't reply to YouTube comments not being rude of course just uh, a time factor I've chosen to uh, put my energies into Facebook and so rather than have things spread all over the place I've chose Facebook as a, a way of communicating with people so I'm, I'm happy to answer questions I'm happy to engage in conversation and all that sort of stuff but I've chose Facebook as a medium to do that so check it all out and uh, I'll see you soon tight lines